Well, meet John McAfee, the founder of the very famous McAfee antivirus software. McAfee has come out with what he calls the privacy phone. My question is, not only will the phone sell and be successful, but will McAfee's checkered reputation actually help or hinder its sales? Now, before we get too far, we should remember that in most justice systems, people who are charged with crimes are innocent until proven guilty. John McAfee has been accused of some very serious crimes by the Belizean police. He lived in Belize for a number of years, and instead of standing uh, against those uh, accusations in court, he chose to flee Belize and came back to the U.S. Doesn't look good on him. Say what you will about the Belizean justice system, I don't know. But if you don't know who John McAfee is, here's a quick rundown. McAfee is best known for founding McAfee Associates in 1987, which released the first commercial computer antivirus software, also called McAfee. He left the company he founded in 1994, and since then, he has put money into a number of other tech ventures, as well as other investments. He also lived in the country of Belize for several years, and in 2012, he came into the spotlight again when Belizean police departments started searching for him as, quote, a person of interest in the murder of one of his neighbors. Gregory Viant Fall. McAfee decided to flee the country instead and ended up back in the US where he still lives today. In 2016, a documentary on Showtime Cable portrayed McAfee as a wild and crazy person. It alleged that he was involved in not one, but two murders, and that he engaged in rape, drug use, and more criminal activities. McAfee denied the portrayal of himself and said that he was going to sue the filmmakers. It's safe to say, however, that McAfee is not your normal button-down tech geek no matter which version of the man you believe is real. Now let's talk about his privacy phone. Earlier last week, he posted an image of what he called the first prototype of the privacy phone on his Twitter account, and it clearly shows that it's running some version of Android. Now you must be thinking, what would make this so-called privacy phone any more successful than other devices that have tried to target the same market? Remember the black phone? Yeah, that never took off in terms of sales. Here's what McAfee said to that. Well, in a chat with Newsweek, McAfee says that it's all about the hardware. Specifically, he claims that owners will be able to remove not just the battery, but also the phone's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and geolocation hardware, along with its camera and microphone. He adds that the privacy phone will be protected from IMSI catcher devices that are designed to intercept mobile phone traffic and location data. Finally, the web browser in the privacy phone is supposed to include an anonymizer, so when you search on your browser, you won't get hit by ads. Okay, interesting. Quite a bit different than anything we've heard about in the past. But my question is, why name it the privacy phone? That's like putting a massive target on your forehead. There are armies upon armies of hackers out there who would love to take a crack at the phone. And it's just inviting a dangerous meme, right? And hackers don't even need to actually really have a serious breach on the phone. They just need to crack it a little bit so they can say, yeah, they hacked the privacy phone and then it becomes a joke of the tech industry. Better to say that it is the phone for business users because business users just want something that is more secure than the average device. They accept that you know, it's the price of doing business that they may get hacked, but there's a lot more emphasis on security on that device. There's a lot more, uh, more effective marketing there and you're not setting yourself up become a meme. Now McAfee is holding off revealing specific hardware specs of the privacy phone until the week before it's launched. That is supposed to happen sometime later this year. The phone will be priced at a hefty $1,100 when it is released. McAfee claims that it's mostly targeting enterprise users, but he believes it will also attract buyers who simply want a more secure mobile phone experience. He seems very confident that it will be a success. So much so that he says that the second version of the phone is already planned for summer of 2018, which McAfee claims, quote, will be as hack-proof as humanly possible. Reminds me of someone else who likes to overstate things. And he referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee. Now, I was just asked this question yesterday. What's the most secure Android phone? And if you're a tech-savvy person and you have the time, there are a number of ways to secure your Android phone on your own. 
If you want to root your phone, there's a whole bunch of resources out there. You can go to XA Developers and they have a number of different options. If you're willing to take the time to have granular control over your device, you can do that, but it's time consuming and it's definitely not user friendly for the average Android user out there. So there is a market for a more business secure focused phone out there. But even if you don't mind McAfee's checkered pass and you want to consider this phone, are you willing to pay $1,100 US for it? Maybe, maybe some enterprise users, but not from this guy. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below or right there on Twitterverse. Meet Jeremy Shoemaker, otherwise known as Shoe Money, and he became famous for this photo where he showed off a check that he made from Google AdSense. And he's become so good at making online businesses that he made an announcement that he does not start a new business unless he can secure the business's name in a .com. Now, why is that exactly? Well, no domain name extension tells your story with the same degree of trust as a .com or .net domain name. .com and .net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence. And who doesn't want to be credible? And don't forget, you get 15% off when you use our coupon code ANDROID. When you think domain names, think domain.com.